This video shows you how to cross hatch and slip and this is what you use when you're sticking two bits of clay together. So in this case I've got one more foot left to put onto this pot. Um, so basically this foot is going to be stuck onto there. So sometimes when you just push something on it feels like it's stuck but it's not. When it dries it shrinks and when it goes in the kiln it shrinks even more and um, so when it shrinks that'll just start popping off and then you'll have no feet left if we don't cross hatch and slip it so you can use different tools to do this i've just got a um a sweet corn thing sweet corn stabber um, and i've bent one of the needles back so i can use this one you can use a knife you can use the serrated edge of this you can use a fork literally whatever you've got to hand this is kitchen table pottery sauce or whatever you've got use it yeah uh, so wherever you're gonna attach something the cross hatching is basically just putting loads of little grooves in the clay or loads of little kisses as somebody once said I thought it was quite cute so just roughen the clay up and you're creating loads of grooves in there and grooves in there so when I put the slip in it'll sink in and give it a really good join so I've already done a video on how to make slip and um, so you can go back and watch that but basically blob it on put more on than less because I want it to sink in all them grooves and the grooves that you've done on the bottom there twist it round and keep sliding it until it starts to grip which it is there, I can't pull it off. If it's still sliding around, it means it's not going to stick when it gets fired, so make sure it's got a good grip. Then get a paintbrush with a tiny bit of water on, but get most of the water off on your hand or on a bit of paper, and then start to take that slip off. Just by going around with the paintbrush, then you can tidy it up that way as well keep rinsing it out and washing it off on your hand and then you can spin your pot round as well and get into those little grooves there and make sure that looks nice, nice and neat and tidied up and that's basically how you um, stick two bits of clay together using the cross hatching and slip method.